are delivering our Christmas cards this morning, up bright and early, taking Porty for a walk, but Ali has gone to deliver one, and we were going to deliver another one up the lane, but someone has decided that it is not appropriate to leave a man behind, so we have to wait for Daddy, don't we, Porty? You are a very trusty and loyal steed. We've raised you well. This is my outfit of the day. We are heading down to time now, just about to load up the car. I have an Arvel jumper on, it's this beautiful navy jumper, and then a black watch Arvel scarf. Then I've got my Caramillion leather leggings and some Theory boots and some little Hermes accessories. And I've got about 50 million layers underneath this, so I'm nice and warm. But I also have a black coat that I brought with me. And I've also taken a fur coat. And then obviously I have my anniversary gift, which my husband hasn't let me have yet. So yeah, <laughs> actually, I think I'm going to pop this over my shoulders. I think that'll look nicer. There we go. Just popped it over like a little bit of a shrug. And now I'm going to pack up all of my charges and things like that. And then we're good to go. Right, we are loaded up into the car. Ali is just giving Porter a treat because his auntie V is coming to stay with him, which is so nice. So yeah, we've just said goodbye to Lumi downstairs. My hair is looking very weather. Um, and we are setting off an hour and a half later than we're supposed to because we prioritized walking Porter because I wanted to walk him. His walks, they're important to me. But we are setting off now to time. So I'm gonna get up the postcode on here and we are literally gonna pull up and head straight for lunch. I'm very excited about. Funniest thing happened last night as well. Ali, in the middle of the night, because Ali's a real talker and a mover and a like sometimes even he gets up and like sits bolt upright and uh, he stole my pillow, literally just pulled my pillow from underneath my head. And I was like, babe, can I have my pillow back? He's like, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, we are just about to drop off some last minute cards to our neighbors and then we are going. So see you in the Cotswolds. Looks like we're in the Cotswolds, but this is just our road. <laughs> so we're not there yet, <laughs> but we're on our way. And I there's always, the yeah, there's usually a bird of prey sat on that tree. And he always tells me about it. I've well, only five ever... times it's flown. Uh, six, because of... I've seen it. Well, for me, in front of the window screen yeah. until about here and then it dips up and out. Ooh. It's almost like it's showing off to me. Yeah. I think it probably knows I'm a bit of a bird person. Yeah. So obviously we're going away. Oh, the, look at the pheasants chilling with the sheepies. Um, obviously we're going away for our anniversary and we're set off. Mr. Millen Gordon has forgotten his wedding ring and honestly, I feel for you. I do feel for you because I would feel naked. I promise you I would. It wouldn't be so bad if it was the day we're going away. But babe, it doesn't mean that we're not married. That's very sweet of you, but it doesn't mean that we're not married. We're still definitely married. I know, but are you guys here for anniversary? And then looks down and wear my ring. Well, I don't think, I don't ever look at people's wedding arms. Sorry, I just don't. So you're fine, babe. Don't worry. The only thing that I would be worried about is um, other women hitting on you, but that happens every day, so. No, it, it does, in your DMs. It doesn't happen. Babe, you get a lot. I, I think I get like one person a year that might find me randomly attractive. Like, I was reading Ali some messages last night from a guy that I get messages from on Instagram, but it's literally like, I get one person. Ali gets everything. So I've got to keep my wits about me because one day someone's going to swoop in and steal you. People like to remind me of that as well on my channel. They like to let me know that, you know, you'll, you'll get tired of, of my shit. Now we are in the Cotswolds and we are about seven minutes from our destination. Honestly, it, it's actually been quite a sad drive because we were seeing the effects of all of the winds on so many trees were ripped out of the ground like massive trees and so many of the really beautiful dry stone walls had been like blown over and you could see where it was like freshly blown over it's just so sad it really is but we're on our way and we're almost there and we are in Southrop which is where time is and this is where we fell in love with the Cotswolds it literally looks like something out of the holiday I just love it so it's been a while since we've been to time we've actually never seen this side of the village have we no. um and they've got a new entrance so we just went to the old entrance i was like oh yeah this is where the uh, reception is no that's all moved it looks like there's a beautiful shop there so i did wonder where the shop was but ah do you remember in our first video it was all like 
um, they've obviously made a really sweet, <gasps> look at that. Oh, running sheep. Oh my goodness, they've obviously made that really like long area that was there, that was sort of left a bit unloved. Here we go. They've made it into their entrance. Wow. Oh wow, look at the sheepies. Oh. Yes, oh my gosh, fluffy tails. Wow, look at this. When all of these trees grow up. Wow, oh my gosh, it's so different around here now. We have arrived and we are seeing these gardens which are designed by Bunny Guinness in their winter form and it just looks so, so beautiful. Oh wow, oh my goodness. So I have gone for the burrata which looks absolutely incredible and Ali has gone for a plate of potatoes that I'm definitely going to steal some of. We are on our second course and also on our second drinks. Just taking it steady today. Delicious. Oh, you're getting a spoon on board. Okay. He said it might be easier with a spoon. So Ali and I have decided to share desserts and we've gone for the hazelnut tart and the pear, poached pear meringue. Yes. Which look absolutely so delicious. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have just checked into our room. I've eaten all of my lipstick at lunch, so I need to pop some lipstick on. But before we ruin the room, which we have slightly already done with all of our luggage, I thought I'd give you a tour, but I just didn't want to ruin the room and ruin everything that they've done because it just looks so wonderful. We're staying in Watermint, and I've never stayed in this one before, and I love the fact that we've never stayed in the same room twice because I've stayed in the main house, I've stayed in one of the little cottages, and then we've stayed in this house before but in the rose room at the bottom so this is our fourth time staying here was that our fifth fourth or fifth i'm sure but anyway it's just amazing seeing how different it is and experiencing a different side to it every time and this room is so beautiful and cute and it's actually giving me all of the inspo for one of the guest bedrooms because this fabric oh my goodness so this is where you come in. You've got Mr. Mill and Gordon making it look very, very lovely. We've got a little, a lovely little veg truck here. This is like a mini one. I hope I get to keep this because I would actually use this in the kitchen garden. We've got cheese straws and we've got a little nightcap of Negroni and some soda water. That's my anniversary gift that I'm opening tomorrow. We've come into the room and we have some amazing gifts from Bertoli. Bertioli. Bertioli. I think it's, I always go to say Bertoli, but it's Bertioli. And that is the brand here at Time that they've launched. And it is absolutely beautiful. I actually have my eye on a dress, which I've told you about, but then I've just seen the shop now and there's so many things that I want to buy. I am going to spend a fortune. So if you want to find out what I bought, you'll have to watch the next vlog. But we've got a lovely little welcome note. These are the little illustrations that I've collected over the years that Karen, the owner of Time, does and I love them. These are of little rose hips and they just are so lovely. So we've got a little anniversary card from them. Um, we also have some seeds. Wow, cornflower. We can sow these in the garden, babe. Another little anniversary. Oh my god, this one's poppy. I don't have this one. Wow, babe, look at that one. Yeah. And so this is the little area here. We've got a little mini bar, some drinks, and then we have these steps up into what is a little seating area. We've got our coffee station, TV, bean bag, little armchairs. This is what I'm really loving that they have around time. Ali loves ferns. And seeing all of their potted ferns, I think this is definitely going to be something that we introduce around the house. And I can actually see how much of time has influenced like the decor in our house that Lauren's gone with because there's just so much I can't believe it I love these little shirling cushions little side tables and then into the bathroom where we have a beautiful tub his and hers sinks of course I love this setup oh definitely if we can do it in one of our bathrooms these individual sinks like this are so nice definitely going to be buying some of these and a big old shower and beautiful beams this is exactly what I want to do in the dressing room add these beams and pitch the roof up like this I think it'll be so nice 
got dressing gowns. It's beautiful. Obviously there's no full length mirror. <laughs> so I am wearing Le Boutin boots, tights. I've also got my skirt on, which I'm actually gonna look in the car. I'm gonna get a chocolate colored one. How nice, nice with a chocolate colored one. Yeah. And then I've got a Karen Millen jumper on. I actually got this about a year ago. This is the kind of jumper that you'll notice where my shoulders are really broad because the shoulder pads want to sit here and my shoulders are there. <laughs> So that's how you know you've got very broad shoulders. But the brief for this evening was festive and fabulous. Festive and fabulous? Yeah. Oh, I didn't get the fabulous part. <laughs> so I went for the festive and fabulous. Ali, on the other hand, has gone for a completely different vibe. Uh, when you see his Christmas jumper, I think you'll be very, very impressed. Impressed with his dedication to his fur baby. But that is my outfit. And um, I'll link it in the description box down below. But we're ready to go. Go on, show them how it's done. This is how you do festive. I actually bought this for you. <laughs> so, Mr. Millen Gordon has his festive Bengal jumper on. Christmas tree. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? And he's very, very proud of himself. So I look normal. And then I'm not gonna tell you what I look like. <laughs> we are just leaving, but this is probably my favorite hallway ever. And these ferns are just providing all of the inspo. Like, look how lovely that looks. Imagine these on the downstairs yeah. hallway table. Beautiful. I remember seeing this floor many years ago and wanting to do something similar in our house. It is just pure magic. I love that I'm vlogging arriving home and I showed absolutely nothing of this evening. So here is a lovely festive shot of time at night in the fog. <laughs> Oh dear. Good morning everyone and yes I did make sure that on our pre-anniversary uh, night I wore the sexy pyjamas for my husband. <laughs> my cosy cashmere is well and truly snuggled in. This is four years of marriage people. <laughs> we are waking up to beautiful sunrise streaming through the windows we are very very excited for our day ahead i'm sure ali will be heading down to get some breakfast soon and then we have some lovely lovely massages before we head to our favorite blenheim palace so it's going to be a very very lovely day so just to give you a backstory this is my anniversary gift so i've obviously not been allowed it and you're new baby <laughs> um i've not been allowed it until today. The rule does not apply for Mr. Mill and Gordon because I bought Mr. Mill and Gordon two lovely smoking jackets and he just unwrapped them on day one that they arrived and took them to the uh, to Sue Strenix and I've not been able to wrap them since. So I, I actually, I, I've had no part in uh, other than paying for your anniversary gift. So I have got him something different for him to open today, but one of our bags was left in the car, so he's gonna have to go and get it. <laughs> I know what this is, because I've tried it on. And I've been very, very excited about this, as you will know, because I've not stopped going on about um, field jackets in my vlogs, so. Oh, babe. I woof you too. <laughs> woof, not woof. Woof, oh woof. Woof, woof. That's what dogs do, woof. Isn't that spelled? <laughs> dogs woof, babe. Yeah, but that's double O O. -F. Well, that's what they mean though, woof. No, but it's supposed to say I woof you. Oh, as in love. Yeah. Okay, I like woof. Maybe you're right. <laughs> I woof you. Tends I can get another puppy. No, I don't. <laughs> Tends why there's two sausages on no. the floor. Ooh, very Rally. beautiful. Purdy. I just loved this rich Merlot colour in the collar and like the detailing. I was very jealous of yours, so thank you very much. Do you know what I also love? Structured shoulders. Mm. It's very, very smart. You will see, see me wearing this over the weekend. Thank you very much, babe. It's a blue. I love it. I love it. Because you picked it. <laughs> <laughs> we are up and washed and fresh for the day. And now we are going to head over to the spa, which I am so excited because I've never had the chance to experience it. And it looks like it's literally looked different every time we've been. So I'm really, really excited to finally have a treatment. I've heard wonderful things. So 
this is exciting. Good morning from the lodge. Look how beautiful it is. We are heading over to the spa. <sighs> I do love that tree. Yeah, I think we've told you this before, but this tree is older than America. <laughs> so we're told. So we're told. <laughs> I love the wood cladding, it just looks so beautiful. Right, look at all of this. That's what we're going to do on the side of the house, isn't it? After you, my love. That, those are beautiful. Oh my goodness, I'm literally going to spend a fortune. This is a nightmare. Oh, look at that chandelier. Oh, I love that. We're heading into the main barn. I absolutely love these willow planters with the, with the balls in them. You see them everywhere in the Cotswolds and I just think they're so nice. In we go. Can you see where I got my floor inspiration from for the house? <laughs> I'm definitely gonna buy this book. It's so beautiful. Let's go get a juice. So we arrived a little bit early to the spa, so we went and got an orange juice in the Ox Barn. And now we're heading back <laughs> to enjoy our lovely massage, which I'm so excited for. <laughs> so being in the spa has definitely settled my mind on things, because this is actually a red brick structure on the outside that they have um, obviously insulated and boarded it. I'm not gonna do that in my greenhouse, but what I am gonna do is paint the bricks. I don't think I'll do it white, I'll do it more of a stone so that it complements the floor already, but oh, it's so lovely. I love this table as well, so, so nice. Delicious. Mm. Oh, interesting choice of words. <laughs> this is also delicious. Is it's it? Thyme and honey tea. Mm. And I'm 110% going to make this with the thyme from the garden and the honey and the lemon and all the Yes, that will happen next year. Yeah. If all goes to plan. Look at all of these had and stone um, fire pits that they've got. These are more of the gardens that are designed by Bunny Guinness and I am still just as obsessed with them as I was before. We need some of these oak steaks as well. <laughs> we are all dressed up, smart but warm, ready to head to Blenheim Palace and we just got a picture taken together which is something that we rarely ever get to like actually have done. Usually we don't ask so we end up with like individuals of us in the same place but we are heading over to the Ox Bar now. I'm going to order us some food because we're heading to Blenheim Palace and we've got a really really lovely British weather kind of day. It's all nice and foggy and misty and uh, we've got a surprise date at Blenheim Palace. We've just finished lunch. I didn't have the energy to show you it before I ate it oh, so no. here are our plates. Very, very happy customers. I went for the burrata again, but this time I had it as a main. And Ali's got lemonade and he had the venison, which was absolutely phenomenal. So the food here is absolutely incredible. So we have just arrived and we are currently walking up to the palace which looks very very beautiful behind me we have the wonderful Carmen who always helps us when we're here and we're about to go inside and see the palace oh my goodness the tickets yeah oh tickets no, don't worry. I'll, what I was going to say to you is I'm going to leave you to see the palace yes. imagine trying to get the star on top of that <laughs> <laughs> Slightly frightening. <laughs> So 
we have just finished up in the palace and now we are going to take a look around the new Christmas market here at Blender Palace and I am so looking forward to this. I see it looks like a very, very classy and chic Christmas market. So very nice. We've got Cotswold Distillery. Lovely. Oh, look, the portraits over there. So we weren't going to eat before the Wareju, but looks like we are. Delicious. We have just finished up having afternoon tea, which wasn't supposed to be afternoon tea, but ended up being. <laughs> it did end up being afternoon tea, but we are now heading out on the Blenheim Lights uh, little Christmas tour. walk. Christmas walk. <laughs> it looks like there's no one else in this tunnel right now. <laughs> That's actually not so bad. <laughs> this is always my most favourite part of the light show. It's over these ponds. I don't know what it is. I think it's probably just the water and the flames, but it's just so magical. We have arrived to the Double Red Duke. It's our first time going here. The girls booked this for us as a surprise and uh, we've never ever been here before. But it's a beautiful listed building. So lovely. So we have arrived at the Double Red Duke and we've already made lots of friends. We've had a good old crack with the people behind the bar, haven't we? It's been... Telling anyone my dad jokes. Yeah, Ali's been bringing out the jokes he's told absolutely everyone on this trip. The same jokes over and over and over again. I literally, every time I'm like, I've heard this a hundred times. Oh my goodness. But we are ordering dinner at the moment and it looks exceptionally good we have ordered some snacks which we've gone for the scampi the scallops and the burnt ends and then we're sharing a porterhouse steak and going for what are the small plates fish. well they ran out of broccoli oh so gosh yeah then they tell you you've ordered because they don't know how to react because <laughs> they've got to tell you again we've run out and they hate it Oh my god, I also, I didn't tell you that the guy, Ali was like, so what would you recommend off of the menu? And he was like, oh, well, we, we're definitely known for our steaks, so definitely go for the steaks and, and, and this meat dish and that meat dish. And Ali was like, oh, right, okay. Oh, sorry, just let you know I'm vegan. <laughs> he didn't know what to do. He didn't know what to do. Oh, he literally listed every meat option on the oh, menu. Dear. He's a no meat, no meal man. Yeah, he was a no meat, no meal. But we've also got the best seat in the house. Like, look how cozy the seat is. But yeah, no, it's been actually really lovely. But it would be nice to have like a bit of a look around, I think, because it looks quite cool, doesn't it? You have to have a little bit of a explore. So sorry. The thing that you don't get to see is how fun. <laughs> so basically, I ask Ali questions, and then he he starts. And I just turn the camera off and he goes It goes <laughs> <laughs> And then the and then the little lens retracts it. <laughs> but you don't get to see how funny it is because I'm his mid talking. <laughs> oh dear, I did it to him then as well, it was fabulous. So we've gone for the burnt ends here, which look incredible. Then we've got there, there, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> look how happy he is. And these are the scallops. And we've also got the scampi. I think I'm gonna like the scallop, uh, the scampi's more than the scallops. Really? I think. Ready? Yeah. As in, do you want it on it and yes. on some of this? Yeah. Lovely. Thanks, babe. Oh my god, it smells so good. We are now back in River Mint. I think I've probably called it Water Mint a hundred times. 
got it completely wrong. We were gonna go to the bar, which is spelt B-A-A -A, here at time, but we got back and we were like, do you know what, we're really, really tired. So we've got ourselves some water. I've got a hot water bottle in bed with me and Ali has just gone to get some ice. And I remembered that obviously because Ali's presents are currently either being exchanged by him or they are at the tailor's by him, I thought it was a bit rubbish that he wouldn't have anything to open. So he opened his card this morning, but I brought one of his 100 Christmas presents that I bought him this year for him to open today instead. And I can't remember which one is which out of the ones that I've like wrapped. So I don't know, I think I've brought the one that I, that I hope it is, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But he's gonna open that now. We're gonna have a drink and go to bed. But the Double Red Duke was so, good i think the food was so much better than i thought it was going to be i don't know i don't know why but i always sometimes think and i think it's the same with here like here at time it delivers in every way like the look the decor everything is so beautiful and then like the food and the service i also find to be absolutely amazing double red duke was different because i would say that the decor isn't to my taste like i'm time through and through like Time is my aesthetic to a T. Double Red Duke is, I think it's got like slightly different influences, so it definitely wasn't my taste in interiors. The food though, and the staff, so, so good. So Mr. Millen Gordon is now back with the uh, ice, and we are gonna get an early night ready for our final early. day. What time is it? Oh, I don't actually know what time. I think it's early, right? Oh, oh yeah, no, it's 20 to 11, oops. Okay, is it? What? Bloody hell. Bloody what? Hell, what? You left the price tag on. Did I? Yeah. Oh. I know what it is. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. It's a, I can't pronounce it, Damchen knife. I'm saying, isn't it? Mm. This is for like gardening, around the house, stuff like that. It's a beautiful pouch, isn't it? Mm. Thank you. Wow. You're naughty. I know. Look how heavy it is. Oh, yeah. It's lovely. Thank you very much. Is it white? Does it like go, you can't, oh, yeah, so you can slot it onto a belt. Yeah, so you can carry it on you, but. That's actually probably becoming quite convenient with a gardener. It's a Damascus. 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 <laughs> Folding knife. Walnut. Lovely. Thank you very much. I love this as well. Good morning, everyone. It is our final day here in uh, the Cotswolds at time, and I'm looking a little bit tired because I've actually just been working on my computer for the morning. I just had some of my last sponsored pieces of content to go up for the year, to be honest. That's really exciting. Just been putting the final touches to tonight's video, and we are gonna get ready now to check out. My first port of call today is at the um, time shop, the boutique. I want to go there and try some bits on because it looks like it's got so much stuff. I've got so much like little bits that I want to buy. Um, and then we are thinking about going to Tetbury and looking around the antiques shops there. Now it's somewhere that I probably wouldn't normally come, but because we're over this way, it makes perfect sense to go because it is really, really far from where we are. It's kind of like really deep in the Cotswolds, I'd say. But seeing as we're over this way, we think we're gonna get up, get sorted and head over there. And then we'll be heading home to the fur babies and I'm so excited to see them. But it looks like a clear day today, but not very sunny. It was a bit sunnier yesterday, I think. But I'm gonna make sure I get up, get ready in quick time because we've only got an hour until checkout. And then when I get home, I'll show you everything that I got and also what was in our Bertoli packages as well. So I'm showing you my outfit today. I've not really been able to show you my outfits because there's no mirror, but I've got um, my new Purdy coat on with um, an N peel scarf, uh, Lily silk cashmere jumper, my caramel and leather trousers and some theory boots. And then I've got my um, little Hermes mini and I'm snuggly and cozy for the day. So I thought I'd wear my new anniversary present from my husband. I need to get a really nice burgundy cashmere jumper to complement the sort of merlot colour on it, don't I? Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, embrace or you could just hold a glass of wine. I could. That's actually a really good idea. Instead of getting the jumper, I'll just buy a really nice glass of wine. So Walk it always compliments it. my coat. <laughs> <laughs> Show the, uh, you can see it if you come close. You come close. It licks okay. around, doesn't it? Yeah, like it's on the collar as well. And, yeah. Very yeah. nice. I wonder where you got that idea from. Yours isn't burgundy though, yours is brown. Mm. Pretty sure. <laughs> So we are up and dressed. My hair is very fluffy this morning. Sorry, I'm trying to make it look as good as possible because I've not washed it. <laughs> we are up and ready to go and do some damage in the in the boutique here at Times. So I thought I'd also show you a few little views quickly from our room because this overlooks the back of the main house there, which you can rent the entire main house. And that was where we stayed the first year. I think that window there was our first room. Out of this view, you can see all of the lovely cottages that surround the village but this house here is my favorite all i want to do is have a look around that orangery look at the windows oh so so beautiful and you can just tell by those topiaries how beautiful their garden is going to be so i picked this one out i'm going to keep my eye on and hopefully one day put an offer on <laughs> we're sad to be saying goodbye to our home for the last few days the lodge and also the spa which oh my gosh i wish i was in there now having a yeah, round two. But we're heading over to check out and eat and go to the boutique. Boutique first though. Oh, I need one of these, definitely. Oh wow. These are the bits that I have been waiting to try on. I love this fern print from the Bertioli collection at Time. And then this is the dress that I've, oh, whoops, I have to show you it on. <laughs> so these are all of the beautiful prints from Bertioli. I've got one of these. This is the uh, tablecloth that I've got with the matching napkins at home, but I'm picking up a apron in this print because I just love the sort of autumnal colors of this. I did also want to get uh, the oak leaf in honor of the very large oak leaf in our garden, but Sadly, it's sold out, so I'll have to wait to get that one, I think. Um, I've also picked up one of the dresses, and Ali's getting me some Christmas presents as well, so lots of loveliness, but the florals are gonna be so lovely for spring as well. I think this one is beautiful, very, very lovely. Got my eye on these. These are by uh, George Bronwyn. Yeah, George Bronwyn Pottery, but I'm getting them in the green. I think I want two of these for the house. I'm getting a bit carried away, but I can't help myself. There's just so, so much beautiful stuff. And then these are the beauty bits that we've got in our little hamper from them. And I am so excited to try these out. So we've got a super conditioning hair and body balm. This is the one that I'm really excited to try. This is the breathing balm. So you have a small one that you can pop in your handbag and then um, a large one that you can keep on your bedside. And this is something that Ali and I would probably use um, on the go but also when we're doing our yoga our yin yoga or just relaxing in the evening we've also got the candles oh my goodness and the branding is just absolute perfection as with everything here at time and you might see as well these little illustrations are done by karen the owner of time and i've actually collected these for such a long time and i've been shoving loads more in my bag because i'm actually going to frame them this time as well but they are absolutely beautiful. Lovely little tablescape set up here, which looks lovely and festive. Oh, I love this idea with the ribbon. What a lovely idea. Oh, Italian basil, I have to get some of that. Only bought half the shop. <laughs> oh my goodness me. I just did some serious damage in the shop. Um, and it was funny because I asked for um, some Christmas presents from Ali. Uh, these like silk, is a silk robe and um, some silk trousers and they ended up um, gifting them to me. And so they're their Christmas present from them. Yes, yeah, so it's my Christmas present from them. And so instead there were these beautiful little urns, um, kind of like ginger jars, but they're by a ceramicist called George, George Bronwyn. I'll link his stuff on uh, in the description box down below because it's so beautiful and they did it in a beautiful like kind of off-white and green and I think they look really lovely in the windows but we saw Karen from time this is going to be honestly my day is made how much of a geek was I babe yeah. 
I can I can literally feel Ali cringing when I'm like fangirling over her. She basically told me that the boots that I'm wearing today she went and bought because she saw me wearing them. The theory boots, she bought them in the um, Oxblood. Oxblood colour. I was like, I am never gonna get over this. If I have influenced Karen from time to buy a pair of boots or buy anything, because <laughs> she's the queen of like just beautiful living, I, I can die happy. I can literally die happy. And then we had a wonderful daughter that was talking us through all of the beauty products. I'm gonna link the uh, Time store as well because if you're thinking of any really beautiful, very natural inspired gifts, then, and maybe they're last minute or something like that, hopefully you'll have time when this video goes out, then you'll be able to go and um, hopefully pick up some lovely bits there. Like I got a really lovely linen pinny. I got the dress that I'd had my eyes on and just lots of lovely Lovely bits but I'll unbox it all with you when I get home and unbox you unbox with you the gift that they left in our room because I haven't done that yet I've been saving it because I knew I was gonna do some shopping so I thought I'll save it we are now heading to the potting shed in just on the outskirts of Tetbury and we have a list from the people behind the desk to go and look at oh I can't remember the names of them three specific places one's called twig one's called brown rig which I follow them on Instagram and then there's another one called uh, l l l l l l l l l Lawfords. So we're gonna go and check there as well. We are arriving at the potting shed without a reservation. Without a reservation. Oops. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna keep it. Hiya. So we've gone for the duck orange. and orange and also the black pudding scotch egg. Yeah. Are you excited? Wee. Wee wee. No, they don't say wee, do they? It's got they say wee in France, babe. They say wee man. Wee man. Yeah, but that's small, not yes. <laughs> so I've gone for. Thank you so much. Thank you. I've gone for the roll white cheese yep. from the potting shed. And they no longer make this cheese, as far as I'm aware. No, they do make the cheese, babe. <laughs> So we've just finished up at uh, the potting shed, and Ali has just got in the car and he said, I'm not going to lie, I feel like I'm going to explode because I've eaten a lot. Why did you eat a lot, Ali? Well, you nearly polished off the the uh, sharing starter. The sharing starter. I forgot I we were sharing. <laughs> I forgot we were sharing. I looked over and I was like, "Babe, where's where's the rest of the the scotch egg gone?" And he was like, "Oh, uh, that's still half." I was like, "It's definitely not half. It was a quarter that he'd left me." He tried to style it out. You did try to style it out, but that's probably why you're so full because not only did you eat most of the scotch egg, but you also finished off my burger, didn't you? Yeah. Hoovering. Hoovering <laughs> it was Monsieur Hoover. But it was really lovely in there. I feel like we didn't really get to experience the potting shed as you should because we hadn't booked. So we probably got like, probably one of the like tables that they just keep safe for people. But like there was a really lovely table in front of the fire that I was like, that is a Lydia Millen table. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite pub, the Snooty Fox, the Snooty. Oh, how exciting. I'm looking forward to this. It looks lovely round here. Oh my goodness. This you looks like we're going to spend a bit of time here. Is that the open hotel? No, that's the closed hotel. Okay, I think this is one of the best villages to visit if you're in the Cotswolds. There's a Neptune if you want to stock up on a few of your favourite sort of bits and pieces from there. But everything is just so beautiful. There's so many beautiful stores and the three best antique stores that they've told us about are literally in the same vicinity, like almost opposite each other. So here, we can park here. We've arrived. So the first stop is Brown Rig. I've heard really great things about here and I follow them on Instagram so have a look. Oh my goodness, look at this cabinet. <gasps> wow, that is absolutely stunning. And the way it's styled is absolutely perfect. Wow. Oh 
My goodness, look at these trunks. <gasps> look at this one, babe. Yeah, I'm actually... These are cool, aren't they? These. Yeah, like stacking them up, but even for bedside tables. Look at the actual things. Uh, yeah, the crests on them. Oh, so they're 12 each. Wow, they are absolutely stunning. <gasps> Yeah, so they have these as sofa tables. Imagine these in the in the games room, in the living club room. room. Yeah, in the club room, but even in the living room. If they were a bit smaller and two of them, I'd get those and change the lights in my greenhouse to okay, yeah. those. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we are now in Neptune and we've just spotted our oil that we love and also these little canisters are so cute. Unfortunately, I don't think you can buy them though. So we have finished up, up in Tetbury and we are now gonna make the journey home to our house and to the fur babies. We didn't actually pick anything up, but we did look in Brown Rig. And we went up to the top floor, and that was, I think, when we got like, oh, little, there was a little disease. But we went up to the top floor and they had um, loads of trunks. And there was one particular trunk that I really, really liked. Could be a coffee table, could be just like a low level storage unit. So I went down and inquired about it because actually that wasn't as expensive as the other ones because it had these really beautiful like crest embellished trunks that were a lot more expensive. But when we asked about them, he was basically like, those are all proper antiques, but we can actually make you, like hand make you trunks in any fabric, any leather, any color, um, with all of the sort of brass fixtures and fittings, which is such a great thing because the one thing that I would really like is to have trunks as bedside tables in one of the guest rooms. It's definitely something that I will let Lauren know about as well because um, I think that's really, really good. We didn't pick anything up. I think for knickknacks and stuff, it's better to go places like Station Mill and the old Flight House and places like that because it's a little bit more like knickknacks and you also knickknacks in the one stop and Bondies and. Ooh. They wouldn't have been able to hear what you just said then anyway, babe. <laughs> I've realised as Ali gets tired, he, his voice just goes lower and lower, so you guys can't hear him anyway when he pulls his terrible jokes. Um, but yeah, so I would say if you're just looking for really nice old bits and bobs and just funny little obscure things, then Station Mill, you get some good um, furniture in there and in uh, the old flight house as well. Um, but if you're looking for sort of like genuine, collectible antiques um, and things like that, which I personally think is really nice to buy every now and again, like my Louis Vuitton trunks, I think that they, they're good like sort of talking pieces in a room, but then I just like old things generally. But anyway, we're heading home, home, home. Sad to be leaving time, but also it's so nice that there's always such a wonderful like reason to go home to our lovely fur babies. So, oh, we go and our mattress honestly no you can say that like I think that we've said it about every single hotel like the one thing the one thing is kind of a curse because one of the things that we said we wanted to do was to create a bed that is so good like that it's like a hotel bed and we've achieved that so much that it's actually now better than a hotel bed because we are yet to stay in a hotel that has a mattress and a bed as lovely as ours quite honestly our mattress oh my goodness and for anyone that's going to ask it is the sleep easy g1 or g4 is it g4 yeah maybe it's the g4 ours is a custom made one to the size of our bed because they can make it to any size but i feel like i need to like get an i love my mattress jumper or something because i just talk about my mattress so much <laughs> that yeah looking forward to a night's sleep in our comfy cozy bed we've just got home and it is my favorite part of returning after being away. This is when he gets out of bed really sleepily, like. Hello. Oh my goodness. Hello. Oh, 
Come on, my boy. Yes. You got your teddy. You got your teddy to show us. Nice to be here. Yes. Very excited. You're very excited, aren't you? So I thought before I crash, I will open everything that I got at time with you. I've got a very excited puppy dog here, so I think somebody needs a walk in the morning. Look, remember, our log burner has had its chimney swept, so we should get a good draw, although I have just let a little bit of smoke out because I love the smell. Thought I'd light the fire and open most things up with you, although I think... What are you doing? Two of the items have been taken off me because they are to go under the Christmas tree. Those were my uh, um, ginger jar thingies. You can see the smoke coming out. Why is there smoke coming out? We need to go and open the front door to get the drawer going. You, leave mummy's stuff alone. Oh, perfect. So, let's get into the Bertioli boxes first. Um, I saved everything to do it at the end of this video, just in case you are one of those people that wants to see this kind of thing. Ah! Once your sausage is back, I left him outside having a number two. Was that fun for you? Please don't get poo on me. I've got a nice cream cashmere set on. Um, <laughs> Lumi is currently stood in the hallway. She just had some dinner. But anyway, so this is the brand from Time. And in all honesty, I, I didn't think that it would be possible for a brand that is like a family owned business to just achieve what they achieve. And especially encapsulating and capturing the magic of a place into their products in the same way that they have done is to me it's phenomenal what they do there is phenomenal like the son works in the kitchen the daughter's working on the brand side of things the mum is like honestly like the most creative and magical human and just seeing what they create together and they literally like live in the house next door it's really really lovely and they're just such lovely people and by the way did i mention that i influenced karen i know i have already mentioned it but i'm still not over it okay i'm not I'm not over it. Let's get into the box. So they launched this brand recently and in the market for like these kinds of products, it's hard to come and do something and make it even more desirable, I personally feel, than the usual like brands that you would think of. They've just come and done a, a, their own thing and just smashed it out of the park. Porty, Porty. You can tell when we've not been here because he's he's so naughty. I can't imagine how naughty you are for for Auntie B. What we have in here, I'm so glad that this is in here because I actually think that this is one of my favourite illustrations that Karen has done and this is absolutely going to be framed in one of our many frames around our house. You can inspect with your schnoot, you do not inspect with your mouth. He loves the texture of wool and basically they've designed these little wool pouches so you know when you're getting to the end of a bar of soap or something like that and it's just a little bit too difficult to to hold it basically you put it on this and this also acts as a really lovely gentle exfoliator that puppy dogs should not be getting their schnoots into so their big thing is their bars that's kind of like their main sort of focus and their balm so they, they started off with this breathing balm, um, which I showed you in the store. I've not ever used this, but I am going to use this tonight. And basically this is all around like well-being, mental health, reminding yourself to breathe, because if there's one thing that gets you sort of more grounded again, it is breathing properly. And I love that they, he always tries to upstage me in my unboxings. Do you mind? No. Lummy, we're in here. So this is their Water Meadow fragrance. And th at the moment they've only got the one fragrance. I am looking forward to some seasonal fra fragrances. Ooh. So it's a really lovely like balm texture. Like everything that you would expect from a balm, it is that really, really rich. It's not gonna soak in and disappear. It's gonna really sort of sit and nourish the skin whilst also, <sighs> that is, absolutely wonderful so it says the power of conscious breathing is remarkable creating a calm within to positively positively influence bo both body and mind the scent has a powerful effect on our emotions and memory to provide focus for deep breathing and connection to nature porter please can you let me finish doing my job and then we are going to have 
the snuggliest, most fun evening, I promise. Okay? Look what he's doing. Do you see him? He was sat there, and the moment that my attention is not on him, you are such a sausage dog. It is unbelievable. Um, and this is just so adorable. This little tiny one that you can pop in your handbag, I just think is so cute. The thing that I, you know what I'm like, I have such a weakness for soap and the matching hand and body lotion. And we have two lovely bottles. I actually bought the trays to go with them as well because they have these beautiful ceramic trays. I'm really hoping that Time are gonna do refills for these because I think that that would be absolutely perfect. We've also got the pumps that come with them. And this is what I'm really excited to try because my hair needs a serious wash. This is the three-in-one hair and body bar and they have said that this is absolutely phenomenal. It's all natural, so it means I can try it out on my scalp. They also have the super conditioning hair and body bar as well. The candle, which I am so, so excited about. This is the double wick scented candle in Water Meadow. And it just smells so natural, but fresh. And I just, the branding is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know how they've done it, but. It's phenomenal. So we've got two of those boxes. So we're going to be making full use of all of our lovely stuff. Porter, please stop. Thank you. Thank you. Off. So I'm going to get everything out of the boxes because these are going into my cupboard of specialness, especially these, bre uh, these breeding balms are going to be going by our bed. And then we have the bath salts, which... I'm actually supposed to use for my feet and things like that as well. So I'm gonna be using, getting to grips with some bath salts. I think that these are pajama bottoms. They are silk pajama bottoms, but I am fully intending on wearing these with a cashmere knit and comfy shoes underneath. I love this print because it had a beautiful like natural warmth to the fabric, but then I also quite like this little panel of ivory silk down the side then we have my silk robe the moment i put this on i thought this is just too blooming wonderful so this was actually supposed to be a christmas gift but the people at time gifted me this so my husband got me my ceramic jars instead a lovely silk robe which i think just goes with the whole theme and style of our house perfectly and i just love i love all the greenery and the warmth throughout that and then this i could not leave behind i'm gutted that I couldn't get the um, oak leaf pinafore, uh, apron, but this one I thought would look super lovely in our kitchen, hung on the little hook, but also on me. So they do all of the different uh, aprons and pinafores in the different Bertioli fabrics. So it's this really, really beautiful like autumnal leaf. It reminds me of our autumn install. It's so, so beautiful. It's even got a little pearl button, which is lovely such lovely details i always feel like there's everything that's been considered properly with time stuff and finally ooh, oh yes no i've got loads of other things didn't i so these are the little ceramic dishes because we were given four of the hand and soap things i bought two sets of the ceramic dishes because i just thought they were so lovely and then i picked up a load of thyme seeds to start growing in the kitchen garden later on in the year well next year because Obviously it inspired my kitchen garden and so for me to grow some thyme bits and pieces in here, I thought that'd be really lovely. So I got their traditional Italian basil, Italian giant parsley, the apple mint, and I also got their dill, which yeah, I thought I'd grow some of those uh, next year, which is lovely. Oh, my battery's died, so that's a sign that I need to wrap things up, but I just thought I'd show you the little lovely dishes that we've got which come in the most beautiful shade of sage with the Bertioli branding on. So there's one that's sage and then the other one has a beautiful little bee on it. So we've got four of those. And the dress, I am actually gonna wait and, and show you it on tomorrow because I actually have so many dresses that have arrived that I'm gonna do like a whole festive dress 
video tomorrow. So I think that will probably work better because I'm not going to try it on now and I want you to be able to see it, it on. And I also need to play with this sausage dog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed coming away with us. It's so good to be home. Um, and we have one day left of work in the office, which is tomorrow. And then we are finished for the year. We decided to basically finish later this year so that we could come back later next year because I always feel like it's quite nice and slow like lots of people come back on different dates so it's never as manic the first couple of days so you can kind of take a little bit more time off then whereas now it's tying up loose ends wrapping up campaigns wrapping up vlogmas so um, it made sense to do it this way so I hope that that's okay with you and um, thank you so much to, to time for having us it's honestly such a joy to go back there all the time it is the most wonderful place and I honestly just love it there so so much and we've had a bit of a dreamy stay so yeah anyway I will see you guys in my next video which is probably tomorrow and um, yeah bye. <laughs>